What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmiston here from Schwartz Edmiston Web Design. In today's video, we're gonna go from this ugliness of putting two buttons next to each other to this beauty of having them be perfectly aligned next to each other and not wrapping. So I wanna look at two different hero designs and putting my calls to action next to each other. So essentially I want two buttons, two calls to action sitting right next to each other. So we have this left aligned design and then we have the same design, but we have it centered. So two different ways of doing a hero section. And I'm gonna go ahead and illustrate kind of the troubles that we run into when we try and put two buttons next to each other. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put two centered buttons next to each other. And the way that I can get them centered is to drag two buttons next to each other and put one aligned to the right of its container and then put the right hand button aligned to the left of its container. So then they'll appear centered on the page and they're right next to each other and everything looks good. Um, and that's great across all screen sizes except for mobile because you can see that the buttons are aligned to the right and left of their containers respectively. So um, that is a problem, but at least on desktop and tablet and everything else, it looks good. And I have CSS for centering right and left buttons on mobile in my course CSS toolbox. So you could use a CSS snippet like that to center those buttons on mobile. It wouldn't be a problem. But the real issue is when you try and put two buttons left aligned next to each other, it just doesn't work. And so I'll illustrate that here. I'll add a button right below my text here. Then I'm gonna left align it and I'll add another button right next to it. And I'll left align that button also. And you'll see there's just no way that we can get these two buttons next to each other. So here you can see they're much too far apart. So I'm gonna drag down the column and they're still far apart. So I'll drag it down more. And now I like the space between them, but unfortunately this button is not fitting in its column anymore, it's stacking. So I'll drag it out a little bit more and that looks okay, but there's a lot of problems with it. So if I go full screen, now the distance between these buttons is awkward, doesn't look right. And if I go down to smaller screen sizes, eventually that button is starting to wrap because it can't fit uh, in its column on one line anymore. So that's the problem that arises um, when you try and put two left aligned buttons next to each other. Uh, it just doesn't work well. And so the reason that these buttons are so awkwardly spaced uh, is because of Squarespace's row and column system that it uses for its template structure. So it, it's a pretty good system, but unfortunately this is where it starts to break down in, in this type of a use case. So the way that it works is it aligns col uh, content into rows and columns. So because we have two blocks dragged next to each other, they each get a column and they're aligned in a row. So each of the rows get a width percentage associated with them and it just tells that content how wide it should be. So this is a column two. And so it gets a width of 33%, and this is a column four. Uh, so this one gets a width of 66%, and obviously that has to add up to 100% of the width of this row. So that's why the button spacing is so awkward. It's because the, the columns aren't the width of the content inside of it. The columns are just these predetermined widths that have to add up to 100%. So what would be better is if we didn't have like a 33% width for this button, it would be better if instead the column fit its content. And so there's a width that you can uh, assign. There's a CSS property called fit content. And so basically if we can just turn this column, change its width to fit content instead of being a predetermined percentage, then look how beautiful this is now. These two left aligned buttons are perfectly next to each other. Uh, and we don't have any of the problems where the button is like uh, shrinking or the learn more is wrapping onto two lines. Uh, it fits perfectly and they, they are spaced perfectly next to each other as well on all screen sizes. So I wrote some code to be able to give these columns a width of fit content because you can't just, you can't do it with CSS. Um, because every time you wanted to do two buttons next to each other, you would try and have to use CSS selectors to target these columns. It's just easier to, to set it up with jQuery. 
So I wrote some code to do this automatically. And basically the code detects whenever there's two left aligned buttons next to each other, then it automatically applies that fit content width to the columns. So I'll walk through uh, how I wrote it and how it's applying to the columns. Uh, just so you can sort of see it um, and, and get a better feel for it because you're adding it to your site, I, I wanna make sure that you understand it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm doing is I'm targeting a column that has a button block in it and whose button is aligned to the left. And that button also has to be the first child and the last child in the column, meaning it's the only block in the column. So if I right click and I click inspect, um, I can kind of walk you through the HTML and what that's looking for. So here again, we know that we have two columns next to each other because these are the only two blocks next to each other in the row. Therefore, we're gonna have two columns in the row. So the first thing I'm doing is targeting the column that has a button block. And the button block, remember, has to be the first child and the last child. So here we have a button block and there aren't any other blocks in this column. So therefore, this element is the first child and the last child, basically meaning it's the only block in the column. And this button block has to have a class of SQS block button container left. So basically the button block has to be aligned to the left. Cool, so what we've done is we've selected this column that has contents that meet all of that criteria. So okay, so that's this first part. And then we're looking for the next column that also meets the same criteria. So basically we have a, our column here that meets all the criteria. Now we're looking for the next column that also meets all of that criteria, and it does. Has a button block that's the first child and the last child, and it also has a button that's aligned to the left. And so what we're doing is we're saying, okay, so we're looking for a column that meets the criteria, and the next column also has to meet that criteria. Therefore, we know that we have two button blocks right in columns next to each other. And so what we're doing is we're adding a class to both of those columns called button-call, and uh, here you can see that the class of button call is added to both of these uh, columns. And then what I'm doing is I'm just now targeting that button call class that we just gave both of these columns. And I can give them a width of content fit as we talked about before. And I'll also get, give them a float of left. And that just makes sure that they'll be next to each other unless there isn't enough room for both of the buttons to be full width. And then they'll stack on top of each other. So that's the nice thing about using this method is uh, it only works in those very specific circumstances. So I've written it in such a way that uh, it just it just works with the template. And also the buttons will be next to each other unless they can't fit on the same row. And in that case, they'll stack. So I, I really, I love this method. Um, it works really well because it's, you know, working in harmony with how the template works. So if you were to add a left align button next to a right align button, then it wouldn't work. Uh, and the, the jQuery wouldn't apply. So you can see, you know, it's unaffected. So really the jQuery is only gonna kick in if that certain criteria is met. And because the criteria is so specific, you know, it's only looking for this use case where you have two buttons next to each other and both the buttons are left aligned. So I'll have a blog post in the description below with this code. And uh, if you're gonna use it on a site, holler, let me know. I, I love to hear from you guys. All right, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next one.